There are rumblings of changes ahead for this series, but I've been stalking Reddit for more pictures from willing participants for episode 16 of This Is My 60. I'm pushing slowly towards another subscriber milestone, so if you want to give my self-esteem a much needed boost, click the subscribe button. Taihao keycaps aren't the highest quality, and a few people will call them endgame, but they are a great way to try out some affordable, accessible PBT. I'm very much in favour of the affordable Keebs Act. There have been a few attempts to get a Super Nintendo set off the ground over the years, and this would make a good starting point if you wanted to roll your own. I just love your GMK, honey. Double shot so sweet. And your E6 V2 is really something, baby. Smooth lines so neat. The way your Yabo cord coils, darling, just drives me wild. Makes me wish I'd joined the damn group by Angel, instead of prioritising things like rent and utilities. Schnickel Fritz! Another episode, another example of Hyperfuse, this time Origins looking great, and a pristine tofu. Does the combination of different mod colours slightly trigger you? And what about that flipped spacebar? HHKB inspired layout with arrow keys in the bottom right? Oh, that must really grind your gears. Don't keep it in. Tell us all about it in the comments. I really like the way this user has taken a theme and ran with it, all the way to the Mirkwood by the looks of this picture. That artisan is an excellent touch. I'm a fan of the works of Tolkien, but not in the Peter Jackson is the scum of the earth way. I'll happily watch Legolas and his fully automatic bow, or enjoy completely made up characters and pointless love triangles that pander to the modern movie going audience's need for factuous feel good fluff. Now this user could have a whole episode just with photos they've taken of their keyboards. It was hard for me to choose just one, but GMK Red Samurai looks so good on this canoe that it had to be here. I didn't join the Red Samurai drop for financial reasons, but the 1000 requests for a rerun show that I'm not the only one who feels the shame of his ancestors for missing out. DSA Hyperfuse isn't one we see much these days, but this user got a hold of their dream key set and here it is on a Tokyo 60. The plants aren't the only thing that are succulent in this photo. Some people have found it ironic that there are gaps in a keyboard named after one of the most overcrowded cities in the world. I've noticed it, but it seems less obvious here with the DSA keycaps. Well that was a quickie. Hope you're not left feeling unsatisfied by this brief encounter and join me in the next video which might actually be me building something or announcing my very first contest. I'll see you next time.